Hi everyone, it's me Zeba Junkie once again. Um, <clears throat> I decided to make another video because as you guys can see, I'm kind of bored. So, um, yeah, so I made the video about me going to um, the Macy's Mac counter. And this video, it's um, when I went to Sephora. Um, she, I went to Sephora because, you know, as you, as you've probably seen, I won the, um, Green Girl, um, 251, her first, pra first place winner, and it was $100 to Sephora, and I was, I've been looking on Sephora.com for, like, three days after I won, and I really don't know what to get, so it's, it's very hard, like, especially when it's, when it's your money, it's hard because you probably don't want to spend it but when it's somebody else that gives you something it's so hard to decide what you want like I've been on this website for like so many hours and I still can't find out what I want so I went yesterday to my Sephora counter and um, what I asked the girl to help me was um, I told her I was like I'm um, a makeup guru on you know YouTube and I won a contest and it's a hundred dollars to Sephora and I have to pick the things that I want online so I would like you to let me know what are the essentials and what I should and shouldn't get I told her the, uh, the things that I needed and she directed me to the place like which brands and which one in particular I should get so I'm gonna start with that the first thing she told me to get was the um, Laura Mar Mercier the I need a face primer, so she told me to get the hydrating face primer from the Laura Mercier um, collection, and um, that go um, that cost thirty dollars. So I put that in my shopping cart, and um, you know I wrote it down, and that's one of the things that I told Green Girl two five one that I wanted. I also told her that you know I wear glasses so sometimes when I have makeup on like my foundation right here it tends to smudge a little bit like because of the glasses or whatever so I told her that I wanted like a like something to set my foundation so that it doesn't smudge and she also directed me to the Laurie Mercier um, collection and there's this new product that's called secret finish which is supposed to basically um mattify your face or whatever but it's like a gel consistency and you just pat it on your face on top of your foundation and it's supposed to just set it for you instead of putting on a powder which sometimes can make you look cakey so um that goes um that costs 27 dollars. so right there that's 57 so i only got like you know a few um 33 dollars left around there no i have a little more okay whatever so, um, then I wanted the Rose, um, Fresh Rose Lip Treatment, um, in the tinted one, which is $22.50, and yeah, so I put that in my cart as well. And then finally, um, I was looking at some reviews for, like, an eyelid primer slash liquid, like, so I can do different color eyeliner, and the one that got the best reviews was um the makeup forever eye seal so excuse me um i put that in my shopping cart as well and that was twenty dollars so my grand total was 99.50 for four items but at least it's four items that i know are essential and that i need you know i don't need mascara i have a lot of mascara and i usually use lash pads anyway and i don't need like lip products like i need to you know just use the lip products that i have um but yeah if you guys are wondering what I have on my lips right now, like, this pretty pink color, um, I'll show you. It's Angel from MAC. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty pale pink. This is Kim Kardashian's favorite lipstick. And I just put a clear gloss over, over it because this is kind of a frost, so it's kind of drying. Well, to me, it's kind of drying, so I put in a... I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Um, I put a clear gloss from... This is Maybelline Power Gloss. It's almost gone, but it's a clear gloss. It's kind of sticky, but I like it, so whatever. So, yeah. So, um, the other thing that, you know, the girl was very nice. Her name was Ashley, the one that helped me out. And I was asking her for a particular particular eyeliner that would last a long time for my waterline 
and she recommended um, Urban Decay's um, 24-7 eyeliners. So I was like, that's cool. I wish that I could, you know, maybe try it before I buy it. Like, have like a small, you know, so I can try it. So I don't think she was supposed to do this, but um, from one of the, um, it was like a new packaging of the um, Urban Decay um, Alice in Wonderland, or I think it was another, I don't know which one it was, but it was a brand new one that she had just opened to show to a client, to another person, and she gave me these two um, Urban Decay liners. One in zero, which is the black, jet black, and one in the flip side, which is the teal color. So she gave these to me and told me um, to try them out since these are the small size and if I enjoy them to buy the big size or whatever. So um, I haven't tried them on yet, but I've heard so many good reviews on YouTube. It's ridiculous. Like, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to like them. So for you guys, I'm just going to do a tiny swatch so you guys can see, um, like, I guess the pigmentation. I'm going to do it on this arm because this arm has the lipsticks. So this one is the black. This is zero. This is the swatch for zero. And I'm going to do the swatch for flip side, which is the teal. cover this okay and that's the swatch for teal as you guys can see they're very very pigmented um let me see if they they're very pigmented like i feel like i'm gonna enjoy it especially flip side on your waterline you could do like a neutral eye and then just add flip side on your waterline and that just gives it a whole new definition like it gives it a a little spunk so i'm really excited i want to try it like i want to do a new try right now and just add um the flip side or whatever i can add um zero on my top lash line and then flip side on the bottom and it like i have a feeling that it's gonna look beautiful so um that's about it um they they are they are smooth you know i have them on my hands now they're smooth um they go on very smooth that's what i you know was trying to say and um the colors are very pigmented so you know that's kind of a good thing already and um they seem to last a long time that's what she told me she was like um they last a very long time they won't budge as soon as you put them on you know they're i think they're waterproof does it say that they're waterproof it doesn't say if they're waterproof or not but it's called 24 7 glide so I'm, I'm guessing the name you know maybe it lasts a long time but yeah um I'm gonna do I'm gonna test them out for like a week or two or whatever and then I'll do an updated review on the product and let you guys know if I enjoyed it or not so um, I hope you guys stay tuned watch my other videos rate comment and subscribe um, just mentioning it again I still have the contest I moved the date it's not on the 23rd anymore so it would have been over two days ago I actually switched the date to March 3rd so continue entering and I wish you guys good luck and stay tuned for more videos have a nice day and bye bye zebra junkies out